Hello everyone and welcome to the show, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I saw a couple of you there. You you went past, you fast forwarded through the video. You're supposed to start it from the beginning. So go all the way back to the beginning and watch it in order, okay? Don't make me have to come out there. So today it's going to be savory tarragon chicken breast salad that's s-a-v-o-r-y savory this will be used by august 31st so we have plenty of time here i don't normally like to fix things in a croissant this way i like to eat everything separate and i would normally Normally bake this a little bit. Oh, this is a what do they call this? It's a croissant. It's um all butter croissants. And two of these, two of these were two dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax. So maybe it's just over three dollars. So just over a dollar and a half for each one. I don't remember how much this chicken breast was. The little salad here, it's like a dollar and, I mean like a, maybe three or four dollars. Hmm. Here's the croissant. You've probably seen those before. And this is the salad. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this in half here. Maybe I can do this without my glasses. What could possibly go wrong? It is a bright sunny day here. It is so hot. It's maybe like 97 degrees, 97 degrees. That's uh, without the humidity. With the heat index, it's over 100. I know it's much hotter in other places. Am I doing this right? I hope so. Like I said before, only an expert can do this. Don't try this at home, children. Let mommy and daddy do this for you. Or an older adult, at least 12 years old. There we are. The inside. Mm. This is so good. Of course, I just need the bread so much. And the bottom is toasted so well. Look at that. Let's get into here then. Okay. There's a little magic fork. Normally, it's my dessert fork. We won't need this again, so we'll put it here. Let's go ahead then, and okay, this is the bottom here, right? So we we'll put it there. In fact, I bet you by the end, I'll probably take this, take the salad out, and just eat it by itself. Don't need very much here, okay? So I'm gonna go here and put some pepper on it next. Make 
sure I've aligned this properly. It's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. I think it goes like this. Yeah, this is the way. This is it here. Okay. I like a lot of pepper. Just a little bit more. I hope the air conditioner is not too loud. I just had to run it because otherwise it would be so hot. It's kind of a nice soothing sound anyway, I think. the rooster the rooster um, what do you call it not chirping what do you call it cock a doodle doo Truth is, I have never eaten um, a croissant with some kind of salad like this, whether it's chicken salad or whatever. I just like to keep everything separate. Here's the bread over here, and here's the salad here. But I'm going to try this just a little bit. See how I like it. I really like it better than I thought I would. Okay, so I forgot to turn the refrigerator off. Now the air and the refrigerator are running. Can't have too much pepper. That's what I always say. Maybe today will be the last really hot day. I mean, you can, I wish I could point the camera outside. My fingers are already messed up. And you could just, you could almost see just how hot it is just from, just looking through the camera. I just use the use the container of the croissants we in for my plate. <laughs>
the reason I turned it off there is because my computer is so is so slow that it's for some reason it doesn't upload long videos very well. So if I thought I if I split it into two or three pieces, it might work better. And I think I'm going to take the rest of this salad out of the croissant. I'd rather have the croissant separately. I know that seems quite idiosyncratic, maybe even a bit, uh, what's the word, eccentric, but that's the way I like it. That's the way uh, 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 I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the way, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we used to do that song. I think it was in the key of F. You can fact check me on that. F would be the first note. Boom, 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 boom. I believe. Just a little, just a wee bit more. Bunch of pepper on it. There was a commercial back in the seventies, I guess it was, or was it the eighties? I'm a pepper, you're a pepper, Dr. Pepper commercial. I wonder what ever happened to the guy that did those commercials. He did several. He was always dancing and singing about Dr. Pepper with some other people. I'm considering getting a new computer. In fact, I've already started to look for one. Because the internet pages don't load very well, they're so slow. I took it to Best to Buy, I've taken it there about three times in the last two or three months. And nobody can help me, knows how to do anything. So maybe that's the end of it. Move down the table a little bit so I'll be closer to this nice big window and I'll have more natural light. My wife and I went today to get a, a pizza at a little, a little place, in a, an independent place in the 
small town a few miles away. We normally go to Marco's for our, our one time a month pizza. We only get a small pizza now instead of the the medium or the or the large one. It was very nice. The owner came over and talked to us. But they don't have any any tea yet. All they have is like like it's like soft drinks. So you got a just a, a nice um, cold Coca Cola and in um, in ice in a glass. And I only have a Coke maybe like once a month. But I had it one time last week at Wendy's with a kids meal. This was a Today it was a 12, a 12 inch pizza, a medium pizza, and it cost $16 for a supreme, a supreme pizza. But they didn't have any red onions when we go to Marco's, we like to substitute the red onions for the white onions. You know, so that was a little disappointing, but it's just a small little place, and, you know, the owner's trying to do the best he can, pay for all his, pay his bills, pay his employees, have something left over for himself. Believe it or not, I'm nearly through. Bet you thought, is that guy ever going to finish? going to be it. Thank you for joining me for this meal and, and we'll talk again real soon I hope.